Hello, this is Josh from Painting by Josh. Today I'm just going to give you a bit of a rundown on the Sedol Gaps, the fill and paint and the all weather flex. I've got another product here that's also, I used to use a fair bit back in the day before I discovered the Sedol range. So now I'm just going to give you a bit of a equivalency between the two products and why I did choose Sedol for my everyday application when I want to go through and gap any exterior, interior um, cracks. So I'll just show you. Start with the polyfiller professional. This is just the original here. I know there is a couple of other ones. This is pretty much one of the, um, I would say, lowest in the polyfiller range. We're just going to use the polyfiller original. Uh, and then we do have here the Sedol fill and paint also. This is mostly for interior use. You can still use it exterior, there's no drama with that, but they have designed an exterior all-weather flex product for this also. So this is awesome for exterior. Um, yeah, it's just designed a bit better for the exterior or outside weather conditions. So I'm just going to put each one in, um, squirt it on a section. We'll leave it for a couple of hours in the sun to bake. And I'll just show you the flexibility of the three. And, and yeah, we'll go from there and we'll, yeah, give them all a test. All right. Watch on, thank you. So we're gonna start off with the all weather flex. I will just put, a, um, I suppose, an A for all weather flex. And then I'm just gonna pretty much just do some squiggly lines like that. Then I'm just gonna do a, a plunk like this and just see the sag on that compared to the other products. So that is the all weather. Um, Sedol. While well, I've got the Sedol in, we'll do the um, fill and paint. So this one here, I'm just going to put F for fill and paint, and then we'll just do the same thing like that, and then we'll just do a clunk, and we'll just see the difference in that also. So that is obviously your fill and paint. Now we have the Polyfiller Professional Original. This is the OG. So we're just going to do P for Poly. You can already tell the difference. I haven't cut any of the tubes. Uh, they've all been completely cut the same. This is another reason why I do not... Um, yeah. Not saying I do not like the product, I just prefer the Sedol. I always have problems with a lot of other different product ranges um, with this. So yeah, for me, it always, um, they always do leak. But anyway, let's do this again. You can see how uneven it comes out compared, like I'm not trying to, you know, change the product in any single way. I'm not, I'm not like that. I just want to, yeah, show you, um, just pretty much exactly what the product does and how the difference is. So this is your polyfiller. So as you can see um, by that. You know. And two, what I'm going to quickly do as well, just to not be biased on any of the products. Um, I don't want anyone to think that I've squirted more of this than um, any of the other products also. So what I will do, I will just squirt you know, like I'll just keep squirting. I'll put double the amount um, compared to the polyfiller. And then the all-weather flex, so I'll quickly, I mean, the paint filler I'll pr pretty much put in as well. And so, just... for us noobs out there, what's actually the benefit of a non-sagging gaps and what's the benefit of elasticity when you're actually gapping like weatherboard homes? Well the elasticity pretty much just comes down to the flexibility of the product so you know you might be gapping the exact same crack but you know everything 
expands and detracts, especially with timber. So it pretty much just flexes a lot more with the substrate that you are, um, that you're filling. So yeah, it, it pretty much elasticity comes down to, yeah, just more flexibility, uh, which is always better when, you know, especially on timber substrates and surfaces. So yeah, that's pretty much um, with the elasticity of it. Uh, and it's just a real awesome product to work with. As you can see, like, <laughs> They've got, they're all the exact same nozzles, but even them just coming out, you can see the difference. It, the Sedol's a lot smoother. I feel like it's more like a half between a, a gap filler and a silicon. Um, so yeah, a lot better flexibility, a lot smoother coming out of your gun, a lot um, smoother like laying off with your finger or whatever you're laying off with. Uh, so yeah, for me, the Sedol is um, definitely a no-brainer. I buy all my Sedol, um, like a lot of my products these days, in bulk, uh, and I get it directly from the legends at Go Industrial. Uh, so yeah, if you want to try the product, hit the boys and girls up, um, and yeah, they will definitely be happy to um, you know sort you out with the Sedol range. And if you just like it, hey, they've um, definitely got you covered for your Sedol gaps and a lot of other products out there that get you from day to day with your painting. All right, so we're gonna leave this a couple of hours now, like I said, we'll come back, I think it's like 10 o'clock now, we'll come back about one o'clock um, after it's had a big beating of sun and we'll just go through um, pretty much just the flexibility and the elasticity of the products um, and hopefully, yeah, this helps out. Thanks for tuning in and watching always. Stay up to date with all our social medias, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. Throw us a like, subscribe, much love. All right, so we are back. We've left it about three hours. Really, I've um, done this video before, but yeah, didn't end up finishing the whole thing. So I left it overnight with that one, but with this one, it's only been a couple of hours. It still hasn't completely cured, uh, but we gotta get this door sprayed, yo. So, hey, I'm gonna do what the best we can now with what we've got, and I'll just show you exactly what is happening here. So this is the All Weather Flex by Sedol. This is the Fill and Paint by Sedol, and this is a Polyfiller Original fillers so as you can see I just pretty much done the exact same thing on each one I did end up squeezing out more on the both Sedol's because I didn't want anyone to think that I am being biased or anything like that with the Sedol product so yeah I actually did squeeze more onto these chunks than what I did with the polyfiller you can see already that um, the Sedol has held its shape a lot better it's got better adhesive to the surface that you're sticking it on uh, in saying that it's not going to slump if that is the correct word yes it is um, so yeah it's not going to slump it's pretty much going to stay slump sag whatever you want to call it so it's going to stay in that same area where this product here you can already see that it started to actually drip away from where I actually had it um, so it's you know disconnected from that area and started to drip down and just another thing as well I wanted to quickly show you is if you can see um, All done at the same time, but feel Feel this it's more like a spongy sort of it's cured a lot quicker than what this product has also And this is the, only the fill and paint. This is the interior product um, and this is the all weather flex so same thing it's 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 got a lot more a lot more flexibility to it that's definitely for sure from the last video i done i was pulling the sedal out to about here with the other products um i was only probably going a couple of centimeters and it was starting to snap already so yeah i wish i just left this product a bit longer but um you know it, it, it does flex a lot more than what this product actually will and you can see already that still it's still wet and this is hours after um, you know it doesn't even where this where this will actually come out um, and like I said it's not completely dry where this it just snaps so it's, it hasn't got the best flexibility about it and yeah back to this 
you can see when you push on that all this is still complete so you've only got a really light film that's over it that has actually dried and inside it hasn't even started to cure yet as well so we've um you know you can already really see that see how this it it still is wet if you open it up but you can see that it has already started to cure um, a lot more inside and it already has got a lot more flexibility than any of the other products so that's pretty much our um sedal test all right so that pretty much wraps up the video uh so yeah i hope this obviously makes sense and like i said the only way you can see for yourself is you try the product so jump on over give the legends at um, go industrial a call get some sent out give it a go let me know what you think i'd love to know what you think of the products um you know and i appreciate you always watching uh, that's pretty much a wrap for this one much love stay tuned Boop, boop. Swipe.